You know what's absolutely crazy right now? It's 90 days till spring. I'm not sure about you, but the year has just flown like that. It felt like January was just like last week, and here we are in the middle of the year, and we've got spring three months away. The beautiful thing right now for you guys is that you've got the greatest of opportunity to really get your business up and up over the next three months. One thing I do know is I remember listening at a conference that I was doing a keynote at, and we had the lady from realestate.com just talking about um, you know seller's behavior. And do you know that actual seller's behavior is a 12 week sort of process where they go exploring and researching. You know, you think about the journey of that seller. Like right now, they're probably going, you know, maybe we should sell maybe in springtime. But the first thing they're gonna do in the first sort of next three to four weeks is go out there and see what's available in the marketplace to buy. So they start understanding prices, what things are selling for, if they were to sell, where would they move to? And then the next thing they probably look at doing is going, hey, maybe I need to speak to my bank or my mortgage broker. So they start getting their finances in order and seeing what they could um, be uh, available to afford to buy. And then from that point, the next step is like in those sort of four to five weeks, you know, heading into that 90 day period of that 12 week exploration period and research period for a seller, they invite agents to come and do an appraisal. You know what you've got to be doing right now is building that trust trinity, yeah? Three things to a trust trinity when you're in that nurturing phase with a potential seller. Number one is you've got to be the resource for your clients, right? Like that's, you've got to be that person that you go to. Second thing you want to do is you want to be talking about results. You want to give that client a level of certainty in the marketplace today that, you know, don't take the wait and see approach. Maybe it's a really good time as we're coming into spring to get your home on the market. So talk about some results. And the final thing is, so you've got resource, you've got results, and then you're also the person that does the research for them, yeah? You're that go-to person. You create that 90-day sort of like nurturing program, in, incorporating a trust trinity as we call it. Guess what? They're going to feel that level of connection as that trusted advisor that you are. But here's the thing. The next 90 days is your money-making months. Like June, July, and August is where all the hard work happens. We all know, like you plant the seed as a farmer and you get a harvest in 90 days. All that seed now that you've got to plant is right now. All that heavy lifting has to happen right now. You know what? The opportunity right now for you is a lot of your competition, meaning other agents in your marketplace, will be doing their mid-year sojourns. They'll be going over to Europe and going to Italy and France and I'm all for creating memories. I'm all for recharging, re, you know, resetting and, and getting refocused, which is so, so important. But if you're going to be around, here is your sneaky time to be sort of have that opportunity to get a sneaky head start on the competition while they're having a great time to rest. You can be out there getting some good listings heading into spring. So one of the beautiful things that I'm so super excited and pumped for is our clients. Why? Because we've got this 90 day roadmap to greatness because we want something that they can create something meaningful and special over the next 90 days. Because when we get to you know, September, I want them to feel like a level of certainty going into the springtime. Not that level of uncertainty, that sinking feeling. Have you ever felt that? So you need to have like a money map of like where you are and how where you want to be in the next 90 days. If you don't, you don't have that roadmap, you're gonna feel a little bit like lost. And when you're lost, you tend to drift. And when you drift, you tend to dwell, ponder, and think on stuff that is the wrong type of focus that you should be going into. Anyhow, where's your focus right now? And what are you gonna create something special over the next 90 days? Because right now is the greatest opportunity to create something great.